I finishing up my 30 minutes on my bike. Good morning. So you saw I did my bike this morning. I actually am running a little bit behind. It's 6.55 and I like to be done with this part of my morning, usually by like 6.30, 6.45 at the latest. But um, I got up a little bit late. I typically like to get up because I like to have time to do things in the morning around the house, but that's not going to happen today. So I like to set my alarm for 4.45 and then out of bed by 5, but I was not out of bed until like 5. 25 today. I woke up at three, my typical let's wake up and go to the bathroom and it doesn't matter. Like it does not matter how long it's been since I drank something before I go to bed, but ever since I hit perimenopause, it's like three o'clock. It used to be one o'clock and three o'clock and then I could not go back to sleep after one or both of them. But now I don't wake up at one anymore. Now it's like three. And it's almost like always like between three and like three twelve. It is super weird. Um, so I got up and then I usually cannot go back to sleep right away. And so I was probably up for at least like 45 minutes. Um, and I mean, I did not pick up anything, did not, you know, because if I get on like even start reading or anything, then it will make me stay awake. But I literally just laid there. And then finally, at some point I fell asleep. Like I remember looking at my... So it was actually more like 30 minutes because I remember looking at my phone and it was like 3.45. So it had been about 30 minutes. Um, so anyway, I just, my dietitian, she told me, she's like, prioritize sleep. And I'm like, okay, but what happens if I wake up? So I do need to start taking my magnesium drink again um, because like she did suggest taking magnesium at night. Also, um, I'm drinking my, this is my belly well probiotic electrolyte collagen drink. Typically I mix this with my greens, but she has suggested, like she asked me like what supplements I take. And, um, or like I told her, I said, well, there's a, there's some that I take and some that I don't take, but I have, and I should be taking. And she said one of them was magnesium because it would, it should help me. If, even if I have to get up at three to go to the bathroom, it should help me like fall asleep faster. Um, but she also suggested I take my greens at night because of the digestion factors. So she said that's just it, that it's really important to have good digestion when you're sleeping as well. Um, and so, because as your cells are like repairing, I don't know. Anyway, she just suggested to have my greens at night and then drink it with like my calcium. If I'm drinking, a, I told her I was drinking a calcium supplement. She said either take the pills, which I have both. Um, but I might as well drink the drink while I have it. Sorry, my husband called, so I'm not sure where I was at. But anyway, so I'm going to start drinking my greens at night with my magnesium. So I just drink, I drink my Motivate Burn before I get on my bike. And then just drink this while I'm getting ready. Um, and so that's kind of my new routine. Um, today's video is probably just going to be a what I eat in a day Um course it's gonna be low carb edition since that's what we're doing now um if you didn't watch yesterday's video with the meal prep i am going to do a whole video explaining um my plan for my registered dietitian that i started seeing through my doctor's office um so i'm going to sit down and do a whole video and that will be up one day this week either friday or saturday i'm thinking saturday um so you will see that and it'll kind of explain everything um I, but today is going to be putting my house together because I, like I had said yesterday, I, um, did not put it all together because my husband was home on his, um, for holiday break, but he went back out yesterday. And so I'm by myself all week. So I just decided to spend time with him rather than putting the house together and gives me something to do. So one thing I did do last night is I pulled all my fall bins back. Well, they're not in the house yet, but I got them out of the, off of the wall where they go in my racks in my garage, got those all in. Then I started pulling out my Christmas ones. And I know I said yesterday, like I'm going to do like minimal decoration and I may do winter theme but as I was pulling out the decorations and looking at them I was like oh yeah I forgot about this oh yeah no I want to put this up so who knows what we'll end up with but my reward is going to be first I have to get the house together tonight and then tomorrow do some decorating so tomorrow we'll do my like at least get my coffee bar done and um my maybe my bookshelf in my office 
And those will be like two main things. I do have to work and I don't work from home any of these days um, until Thursday and Friday. So um, I want to just focus on those two things because those two things always make me happy seeing decorated. But first we got to get the house clean. So I have extra tables in my house I need to get back out and put away. I have... Um, you know, just, just things all over. I need to do some dishes. I need to clean off my counters. I mean, it's, it's a whole thing. So I'm going to do all that today. Um, after I get off work, I'll do some of it during lunch. I want to do some of it this morning, but that's not going to happen because I still need to go make breakfast. Um, but I am going to do some of it, um, at lunch and then most of it after work. So I think this video will be mostly just a, what I eat in a day and, um, you know, getting the house together and then tomorrow we'll do some decorating. But now I better quit talking and go finish getting ready and get my breakfast made. All right, for breakfast, I have two eggs that I'm gonna season with some onion, salt and pepper. Um, I'm gonna top that with a little bit of um, just one slice of the ultra thin sharp cheddar. We have our kibasa we made yesterday in the air fryer. I'll just throw this in the pan and heat it up. I'm gonna do some avocado and then some strawberries on the side. I have to eat this at work, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pack it all up and um, take it on to work. For my caffeine for the morning, I'm doing a chai tea latte. This is the sugar-free. I'm doing one of the vanilla core power shakes. Um, these aren't bad and actually in carbs. There's six um, total carbs. And I think I mentioned yesterday I do um, that my dietitian recommended doing total carbs versus net carbs. Um, but I already had these on hand and that's one thing she really stressed was use up what you have on hand. That's why like the first month is kind of a transitional period. But she also said if I want these and I fit them in my day to do so, I mean, she said that, again, this is supposed to be something that's a lifestyle and something that um, if things like this I want in my day, then that's fine. I told her, I said, I drink one a day, maybe one a day. Um, it just depends. So anyway, have this a little bit of salted caramel skinny syrup and there is my chai tea latte. Here are the two products I mentioned this morning that I had. Um, I do have a discount code for Motivate. Um, I just buy Bella Well um, off of TikTok or at Walmart, whichever one has the best price at the time. And I buy the Motivate right off of their website. And then we have my breakfast. And I will be adding Weight Watcher points because I, I, I get the app free through my insurance at work. Um, and I am going to track WW points on the days that I'm filming. Um, but I also put like the carb count and the protein because I know a lot of people do track their protein. I'm going to put that here on the screen. Um, but I have my, my breakfast with my strawberries on the side. And then I'm going to bring a yogurt um, to have for a snack if I do get hungry. Um, before lunchtime or after lunch before I leave for the day. So excited last night to pull out all of my holiday sweatshirts and I did purchase a couple more off of Amazon. Um, anyway, this is my Joy to the World sweatshirt. It is well loved and kind of distressed. Actually, it kind of came a little distressed. I've had this, I think, for a couple years, but it's just so comfortable and it just, I don't know, just makes me feel happy. So this is what I'm wearing. I did pull out my bins to try to bring some stuff to work to kind of decorate our office area, but I did not get a chance to go through them last night. So tonight, um, that's one of the things I'm gonna do too, is kind of pull some stuff out so I can make my office a little more festive. Super simple lunch today. I did a Caesar salad kit. I did do um, my, I used my two teaspoon measuring spoon. Why is there a two teaspoon measuring spoon? Do you guys think that's weird? Like I always thought that this one set of measuring spoons I have is the weirdest thing. Like it comes with a two teaspoon. It comes with a half of a tablespoon. Like I don't think I've ever used the half of a tablespoon for anything that ever called for a half of a tablespoon. I, you know, it just, I've used it because I need, my tablespoon one was dirty or something. So I used that one. Same with the two teaspoon. I'm like, I hardly ever have something that's two teaspoons. Anyway, little tangent there. So I used my two teaspoon measuring spoon for the croutons. And then I just did um, a third of the packet of salad dressing and I put the cheese in there. 
And I did put my chicken on the side because the chicken just came out of the air fryer. It's super hot, but I have to take this back to work. Um, so I just put it in a little separate container. Um, but anyway, this is the real good chicken nuggets, the low carb ones. Um, so that is what that is. And I will put everything up here on the screen. It has been a pretty busy day of meetings today. So I did not even start my lunch until 12.45. It's 1.16. I'm, I don't even, I think you're looking at the top of my head. Sorry about that. Um, I'm going to head back to work now because I don't need it to cut into the rest of my day. I think I might have a two o'clock meeting. So just one of those, one of those weeks of meetings. I told you guys, December is super busy for us. Um, just getting counting down to, um, winter break and everything, but going to go and pack this up, head back to work. And I still have my yogurt. I did not eat. So if I do want a snack, which that breakfast really held me over, like I, I, I'm actually not even hungry right now, but I know I need to take this. Um, but yeah, that breakfast really held me over. Um, so anyhow, just going to take this back to work. Alrighty. I got home from work about 5.30. It's 6.30 now. I have been going since I got home. It doesn't look like a lot of progress, but I did get at least all the foldable chairs right there all stacked up. Everything on that table is fall decor. It's not even all of it. I just realized I need to get stuff out of the living room and off the porch. I'm just piling up all the fall decor right now and all the Thanksgiving stuff, but I got the table. I don't think you can see where it's at. So the extra table that was right here, my big four foot banquet table, put that away. I gathered up some trash. Um, I got the guest bedroom, stripped all the sheets, got it all tidied up cleaned up. I just, I threw the sheets in the, in the washer. And then I got the futon stripped out of my office, got those sheets put in the washer. I have some blankets in the washer. So all of that stuff, pillowcases, all that. So all those are in the washer. And I got my futon back together in my office. I even got my treadmill set back up and, um, yeah. So, and then I got all the dishes done, which I had a lot of dishes to do. I had to unload the dishwasher and then we had a ton of dishes. So I put all the dishes in there, hand washed all my pots and pans, got all the counters cleaned off. You can see my kitchen looks nice and clean. So now um, I grab the rest of that fall decor. And the only other thing I wanted to do tonight was change the sheets on my bed. But I think I will, I may do that later on tonight. I don't know. Um, I should have did it and then put the sheets in the washer with the rest of them, but that's okay. I was washing blankets. It's kind of full anyway. Um, I wanted to kind of start possibly on the Christmas decor tonight, but I need to eat now. So, and I'll need to edit this video. Um, but at least I got my house back together after Thanksgiving and now I, I need to get all that stuff put away, but I need to bring in the Thanksgiving bins, but I wanted to get all my decor at least all, cause it's kind of like my Thanksgiving bins and my fall decor are kind of all the same. Um, so I wanted to just get it all piled in one spot. So even if I don't get that put away until my husband's home this weekend and he can help me with all the chairs and the tables and the bins and stuff, then that's great. Um, at least it's all out of the way. And now I have room to do my Christmas decor if I want to. Um, I'm gonna do it for sure tomorrow, but um, I got, for the most part, everything done tonight. Um, because I wanted to change our sheets and then, um, which they really don't need to be changed. I usually change them on Saturdays and I just changed them on last, on, um, last Saturday. So I think I was just, I don't like the sheets that are on there right now. For, it's really weird, they're the same exact brand. I got them off of Amazon, same exact brand. They're just different colors. And the tan ones, um, they, state they keep their shape and have no issue staying on the bed these cream colored ones which are the exact same ones it they just they they lose their shape like right away and they're all bunched up and they drive me crazy so like i said even though i changed them on saturday i'm just kind of like ah like it's driving me nuts like every morning when i wake up they're just all bunched up and it look that i can't even when i go to make the bed i can't even get it to, like smoothed out it drives me nuts so I just need to get rid of them and get another set of sheets. Um, but anyway, just a little rant there. I am having bunless burgers for dinner. I was gonna do lettuce wrapped, but honestly, I don't even care about the lettuce wrap. So I'm gonna do avocado, bacon, and cheese. 
I am heating up, heating up my burgers right now. And then I have some green beans in the microwave. And I did not eat my yogurt today. It's really weird, I have not been hungry like all day. Surprisingly, because that's been one of my issues lately. Um, but, so I did not eat my yogurt, but I'm kind of thinking I'm gonna have some yogurt tonight with some blueberries. We'll just see how it goes. But let me go ahead and get my dinner together and I will show that to you. I forgot to show you guys my Teak um, advent calendar that my friend Krista sent me. Um, I forgot to show you guys the last two days of me um, getting my tea out. Now I haven't drank either one of them. I had them in my work. Um, well, one of them I don't think I'm gonna like because of what flavor it is. But this one I had in my work bag that I was going to um, drink at work, but I just never got a chance to. So the first day was Fireside Spice. And then the second day was this one, but I'm not a huge like ginger fan. So I'm not knowing if I'm gonna like this one, so I might hand this off to someone. Um, but today's, I have not found it yet. Three, 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 where are you? There you are. So we have a very wild child. So we may have this tonight. It looks like here's the flavors and the ingredients. So excited to try this one tonight and I will let you know. I should show you close up what this app and calendar is in case you wanna pick it up off of Amazon. Now, because these are loose teas, you will need to have either a tea infuser or like a teapot that, um, I don't know what you call that. Um, like my little teapot's kind of like a, um, it's like a French press type thing for tea. I have both. I just throw this one in my work bag whenever I have tea like this and I just keep it in there so that way it's either home or at work and I remember to bring it back. Um, and, but I also have my teapot, but I'd have to grab that out of there. This is just easier to stick around. So you just put the tea in here and you just put this in your hot water and it just infuses in your, in your water, so. And here's my dinner. So I have just one of the 93% lean ground beef patties, two slices of bacon, a slice of the thin sharp cheddar, 40 grams of avocado, and this are the bird's eye garlic and butter green beans. Alrighty, it's almost eight o'clock. So I'm gonna go ahead and make myself a little snack. It may sound weird, but it is good. So I'm gonna do, let's see, yep. A serving of the Chobani Zero Sugar Vanilla yogurt. I'm gonna do a serving of blueberries. Actually, it's a cup, so I'm not doing a serving because that's a lot. I'll probably do a half a cup. And then I am gonna do a tablespoon of the Crazy Richard's peanut butter. I love this peanut butter. It's nice and like creamy and kind of liquidy, so it's nice and easy to kind of drizzle over. So we're gonna do that and then I'll finish out my night. Okay, quarter cup of blueberries because half a cup is way too much. So we end up doing a quarter cup of blueberries and three quarters of a cup of the yogurt. And that is my snack. I'm going to go ahead and close out this video and I am going to put up here on the next slide. I'll put my total carbs for the day. Remember, I do total carbs, not net carbs. My total carbs, my total WW points, and I'll also put the protein on there just in case anybody's curious. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys.